the rail car and the coaches. Daisy is a diesel rail car, the only one in all of Sodor. That means she can carry passengers without having to pull any coaches. Daisy works on the branch line that runs all the way up to the holiday town of Harwick. But as the summer season came to an end, not so many passengers wanted to be beside the seaside. Disappointing. One day, Sir Topham Hatt arrived with a message. Thomas, I'm putting you to work taking cars to and from the quarry for a while. And Daisy, I'm putting you back on Thomas's branch line. The following morning, Annie and Clarabelle were both ready and waiting for Daisy to collect them. You two are not needed today. You can stay right where you are. What? <laughs> no! Thomas's passengers will be so pleased when they're picked up by a highly sprung diesel rail car. How much more comfortable this is, they will say, than the usual lumpy, bumpy oh. Hey, Daisy, you should be nicer to Annie and Clarabelle. One day you may need them. Not me, Thomas. I'm a diesel rail car. I never need coaches. <laughs> really? Oh, perfectly awful. Oh, don't listen to Daisy. You're both really useful. And at least you've got each other. Thomas is right, Annie. We've got each other for company. And I'd rather be stuck in this shed than be pulled along by a... Dreadful Diesel. Shall we play I Spy? But I can't see what you see. I'll give you a hint. It's something that begins with an S. <sighs> Is it snow? Yes. Oh. Meanwhile, Thomas's usual passengers enjoyed travelling on a diesel rail car for the first time. Oh, what a smooth ride. I'm highly sprung, you see. Tip-top and thoroughly modern. <laughs> that evening, Daisy continued to be unkind to Annie and Clarabelle. Ooh. Oh! Are you two still here? How dull it must be for you. I can go anywhere I like, but you have to wait for an engine to come along. So old-fashioned and out-of-date. And never pull coaches. <laughs> That's just rude! <laughs> but Daisy spoke too soon. Daisy, you're proving very popular on Thomas's branch line. Oh, thank you, sir. I do my best. Then you won't mind picking up Annie and Caramel so you can carry more passengers. <laughs> Daisy did need Annie and Clarabelle. She was too proud to apologise. <laughs> but Annie and Clarabelle had a plan. Can you hear a rattling, Annie? Yes, Clarabelle. Is it you? Oh, it's not me. Well, it certainly isn't. Me? I wonder where it's coming from, that rattling. I don't know. I can't hear it now for all the creaking. Creaking? What creaking? Oh, yes. Sounds like rusty spring. Uh, a perfectly dreadful noise. Terribly grating. Oh, it's going right through me. I'm surprised the passengers haven't complained. Not fit for purpose. Something very wrong. A ghastly noise. 
always. Never heard the like? Good for Scrap! <laughs> Annie and Clarabelle's plan worked a little too well. Everybody off! Everybody out! Ooh, I need to speak to a professional. Daisy's passengers complained to the station master and told him what a bad railway it was. I just saw Daisy rush by. Why did she leave you here? She had to speak to a professional. A professional? What about? Uh, highly sprung springs? <laughs> well, she can't just abandon you and her passengers like this. I'm going to have a word with Sir Topham Hat. I honestly don't think there's anything wrong with you, Daisy. But Annie and Clarabelle said I was grating, and I can't hear anything. Well, no. No, so that means... I must have a problem with my hearing as well. <laughs> I'm off to the diesel works to find me fitter. <laughs> Thomas, what have Annie and Clarabelle been saying to Daisy? I don't know. But Daisy has been rude to them since she first arrived. And abandoning them in Maithwaite? Well, that's going too far. Hmm. It was dark, and it looked like Annie and Clarabelle were going to be left at Maithwaite overnight. Have you come to take us back to our shed? I'd like a word with you two. <clears throat> it seems that someone has been putting ideas into Daisy's head. She's been at the diesel works all evening, and her fitter says there's nothing wrong with her. Uh. Do you two have anything to say about this? Um, two wrongs. Don't make a right. Precisely. Just because Daisy was unfriendly, that doesn't mean you should be unkind in return. I expect better from the both of you. Sorry, Sorry sir. sir. The next day, Annie and Clarabelle were ready to apologise to Daisy. But Thomas arrived instead. Well, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is, Daisy has gone back to her usual branch line. So, she won't be taking you out today. Oh, Thomas! <laughs> that means... You're back! <laughs> ah, well, uh, that's just it. The bad news is, I'm still on quarry duty. Sir Topham had us sent a different engine to pull you to. <gasps> Hello, lady. <laughs> so poor Annie and Clarabelle had to spend the entire day with dirty, devious Diesel. <laughs> <laughs>